all right guys so i'm back with part two of the preview for the nba 2k18 super modifier this is the english version the updated version uh the tool is not yet released uh if you want to see part one i'll try to have a link in the description as well as a title card for that video all right so in the last video i covered the modify the player options which included all of these options here badges shoes attributes ratings tendencies and more in this video we're going to start with a look at the modify the team options uh well actually we're just gonna let's just run through and take a look at everything so when you go to modify the team all right has to load up everything It'll be blank. You push this button, and then down here you'll see everything loading up. All right. Then you have the teams. Now, when you click on teams, it comes out with the team data, including the staff and like your head coach's info here, including the Cyberface ID. So this will be a way for us to change Cyberface IDs for the coaches. And so let's just say we want to have Shaq as our coach or, um, I mean, you could have Team Shaq versus Team Chuck if you make one of those rosters, stuff like that. They'll be on the bench coaching. All right. So then also the one thing that I don't see on here is the, the city name. I do see the team abbreviation, the team nickname, but I don't see the city name here. But then again, it could be one of these options. All right. So let's move on from this. Modify the employee. This is basically the staff. Click this button up here. It brings up every person in the game who is a staff candidate or or like mostly coach candidates. So like in this version of the tool, it won't show me any of their information, but I imagine it's the same as this information here. But yeah, you will be able to edit coaches and even change their names and all of that stuff. All right, let's see. All right, so this modify match is blank here, but in the real version, this is basically the in game settings. You can change the in game settings right here. And I'll go over that more once the full tool is released. Uh, the base game settings and let me the difference between the the base game settings and the modify match the modify match is like your current game that you're in and then the settings of course are the settings that you set outside the game uh, let's see my career my league my GM uh, this stuff is blank but it will be some options here for you to use edit various options for your my career and your my league my gm all right also this tool will have a um that you'll be able to edit both the draft and the nba schedule um let's move on because in this version these uh these tabs don't display any information because this is just preview version of the tool all right, so we're also going to have a ta uh, an area for editing jersey and a ar jersey arena and city information. So, like, if I click on the team, I mean, if I click refresh team, it shows me all the teams. Then I click on a specific team, it shows me all the jerseys that they wear. And I believe there will be some options to edit these jersey names, either the jersey names or the um, the color of the gear associated with each jersey in the full version you'll be able to edit that stuff all right also you might be able to edit the um like what they're called like when you go to select it all right so let's move on all right this this screen here is for trading if i go to refresh trade list it brings up all the teams on both sides you can trade draft picks you can trade coaches, as you see here. You can trade player. 
Um, you can assign a player to another team, assign a player to free agent list. You can delete a player from here. All of that. All right. So, like, let's click on the Knicks. Now, this version of the tool won't actually trade anything, but that's okay. If I wanted to trade draft picks, then I could swap everything for each other. Try to play there. But anyway, this doesn't really work in this version of the tool. All it does is allow me to show you a preview. All right. NBA history honor. This is just like the history of the awards that will be displayed here. NBA history record. Uh, these will be NBA records. Hall of Fame. You will be able to edit the Hall of Fame information. The data center. Um, I believe that will have to do with stats. And then this, this portion here is very important. This is called Super Roster Maker. And uh, it doesn't work in this version, but Basically, what you will do. Basically, what you will do is you will click on a super roster maker, and it will allow you to have like a spreadsheet, spreadsheet type format to edit all the information of a roster, which could, you know, I think you'll be able to just like paste in information, so you can make edits to hundreds of players all at once if you want. Um, so, so far, that is all the information I have for you guys. Uh, the tool is still about three weeks away. There's only one person working on this tool. Just wanted to give you guys a preview. Um, sorry, I couldn't give you a, a, a better video, more entertaining, or at least show you in game the changes because this version of the tool is just for preview purposes only. Um, just so I could show you guys a preview. I don't have any other version of this other than a preview version. So there you have it. All right, guys. Till next time.